Okay, our last lesson is liquify, and it's a very powerful uh, filter tool that we can use. So we're going to start by duplicating our layer again. Make sure you always label it. So liquify is actually up here under filter, and it's under liquify. And the tool we're going to use is this push tool. So I do find that helping to zoom in helps. Um, I find that the bigger the brush, um, the smoother the line that you can get. Um, one thing you really want to make sure you don't end up doing is making people look lumpy. So all we're doing is we are not making her a size zero. We are just slimming out a little bit the person who she is. Um, if you do anything really drastic, it is going to show. Um, so what I want to do here is get a smaller brush. What I'm trying to do is just increase that negative space here. The problem is when I pull to make her waist smaller, it's pulling that arm as well. So having a smaller brush in through there, but it is going to make it more lumpy, like I said, so you're going to have to be really careful and then try to touch it back up. Some of these things, when you zoom back out, you won't notice as much. Um, So this is going to pull the arm in, but then what I'm going to do is pull the arm the other way as well with a bigger brush. You're trying not to do anything too drastic. Some of this might be a bit too much. So again, this is why you would shoot on a white backdrop so that you do have this ability to uh, modify the image. And you're just taking a tiny bit off of everywhere and then just overall smoothing. And even things that will oh, that was too much. Even subtle things like legs and ankles and wrists and hands. Um, can make a big difference. So what you can do is turn on and off the preview um, once you've done your work. You can see here, you, again, you don't want it to look photoshopped. You want it to be plausible. Um, so ensuring that the whole image is smooth is really, really important. I'm going to show you one more thing um, in regards to a face. So in regards to liquify for a face, you're going to again duplicate the layer and go to filter and go to liquify and zoom in. Um, you can do things like modify the shape of a nose, uh, minimize the size or uh, the width. Uh, you can bring up a nose a little bit. Uh, you need to be very careful to be symmetrical when you're modifying the face. Um, you can give someone a bit of a smile. Uh, you can also do things with the bloat and pucker tool. So the pucker tool makes things smaller. Um, sometimes it's a bit too drastic. Uh, but you can make someone's nose smaller. And then the opposite tool is the bloat tool. And again, you need to be careful not to do it too drastically. Uh, but you can make someone's eyes look a little bit bigger just with one click on each iris. Um, can make people's ears look smaller, less. To... 
And then you can also do things like change jaw lines. Um, I don't have enough of the image to work here. So you can see the before and the after.